All right. So let's get into the word of God. Remember that we're also gathering on Wednesdays for our midweek service here. You know, and it's really, really, really powerful. All right. So this month we have been talking about the person of Jesus. But today we want to focus on the name of Jesus. And in the first service, it was really good. And the reason why is that someone says, what do you want to teach about the name of Jesus Christ? You have to hold on because you're going to hear things you've never heard in your life about the names of Jesus, the name of Jesus. And your faith will left first service full of so much faith. Glory to God. You know, I, you, you may need to watch because I'm going to try to brush some things because I couldn't really go far. It's a whole, I couldn't even finish point one out of three points. Glory to God. All right, so the name of Jesus. How to use the name of Jesus. The first thing is this, you know, and I want to say my story. I've seen people that use the name of Jesus Christ and they wonder, does this thing work? And the reason why they say does it work is because I prayed in the name of Jesus, I saw no results. Some people say, I rebuke some in the name of Jesus. I said, if I someone knows someone that died, and the person was saying, Jesus, 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 and he died while saying that name. And you come to a conclusion, does the name work? Or does it not work? I want to show you a case in the Bible because every time you have this kind of issues go to the bible see in the bible the people have similar situation what can we learn from them let's turn the book of act act of the apostles act chapter 19 i want to read the bible story and i'll tell my story the bible says in verse 11 and god wrought special miracles by the hands of paul so that so that from his body were taken to the sick handkerchief or aprons and the diseases departed from them and the evil spirit went away from them then certain of the vagabonds Vagabond Jews, exhausters. Exhausters are people that, um, what are exhausters now? What? That remove demons from people. People that use demons, remove demons from people. Wow, that's nice. And they took to them because what they did was that they found another method to remove demons. Okay. He says, <laughs> and they took to them to call over that which had evil spirits. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And he said to the evil spirit, He says, We adjure you by Jesus, who Paul preached. And these were the seven sons of Sceva, a Jew and a chief of the priests, which did so. So these people were very high in the religious world. If it was in church today, they were deacons, they were pastors, they had some kind of title. So they went to this guy that was demon possessed and said, Hey, you demon, come out in Jesus' name and see what the Bible says. And the Bible answered and said, Jesus I know, Paul I know, who are you? What does that mean? Eventually the next verse says, the demons strip them naked. Because, and you, because you say the name of Jesus is walking your life. I don't disagree. But the Bible also has instances where people use the name of Jesus and it didn't work. In this instance, it didn't work. The Bible says the demon possessed man stripped them naked. But the question is this. Why didn't the name of Jesus work? The reason why is this. Because the name, the way, we don't know how to use the name. This is what we've been taught. That the power in the name of Jesus is J-E-S-U-S. -S. So when something happens, you say, Jesus. You know, give me, give me that. Jesus for us is that, that kind of remote control. You know, when bad things happen and you don't like the channel, you change the channel. Jesus! That's, it's kind of remote control kind of thing. Jesus! Maybe I'm driving or something. Jesus! Someone says, demon possessed. Jesus! It's like that child. You know, like, like people have talisman, people have um, rosary, people have all these things. Our own is Jesus! We want to use it like remote control. It's, it's like some kind of incense that we use to drive away evil spirits. That's what this guy's taught. So you see someone that has a problem, they say, Jesus! And it never works. Because that's not how the name of Jesus works. In fact, I, I, you know, I said this earlier. I said there's a song we sing. You know, the song is very nice. 
I had the mention of your name. Hey, every knee shall ba, ba, ba. And I said, do you know that song is not biblical? That song is wrong doctrine. The song is based on the scripture. Philippians chapter 2. What does it says? So in our mind, the way to use the name of Jesus, just Jesus. Let's look Philippians chapter 2. Let's look at that quickly. I'm trying to hurry because I had I want to go farther than what I went in the second service. Philippians chapter 2. Verse 9. At the mention of your name, every knee shall. At the mention of your name, every tongue shall. Let me tell you, even when the Bible says every knee shall bow, people don't understand what that means. Every tongue confess. He's able to say, you just kneel down. Because they don't understand what it means. So this is why you will see someone wonder. The name of Jesus doesn't work. Why does it not work? Philippians chapter 2 verse 9. The Bible says this. Wherefore God has highly exalted him and given him a name that is what? Is above ever the name. At what? At what? At the name of Jesus or at the mention of the name of Jesus. Pentecostals say at the name of Jesus but that's not what he said. He said, Pentecostal says at the mention of the name of Jesus but the Bible says at the name of Jesus. Someone says, is it not the same? No! At the mention of the name of Jesus says, just pronounce it. At the name of Jesus talks about the name as authority. Let me give you what that means. Have you, have you seen all those British movies before where something like a king's messenger or the queen's messenger will come and it says, I come in the name of his royal majesty. When he says royal majesty, is the name royal majesty Queen Elizabeth. No, what it means is that I come in the authority. So the reason why the name doesn't work is that we keep saying the name, but the power is not in saying the name. The power is standing in the authority of what the name means. This is a missing link. So these guys, this is what they saw. They saw Paul say, out in Jesus' name. And they say, oh, simple. <laughs> very simple. Out in Jesus' name. And that's what happens. Have you seen people that maybe on the bus stop, they see someone that's manifesting. You saw simple again. Oh, blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. They will move back home. In the name of Jesus. They don't know what they're saying. But because they saw a pastor say, in the name of Jesus, they say, he's in the talking. So the seven sons of Skipper said, there's a guy that is demon possessed. They said, we'll come to you in the name that Paul preaches. That name. That, they were saying that based on the record that Paul uses it well. Because to them, it was about the name. Because, we you know, the same way some people, some idol worshiper has, this in the town, the waste. Some people have horn, you know horn. Pwah! You know that horn they use in the movies? No, hey, no, bah. you know, but against own, our own is name. Jesus. But it never works. Because it's not the mention of the name, it's in the authority in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Does the name work? Act chapter 3. See, I want to show you. So this time around, the name never worked. Act chapter 3. I want to completely go there quickly. Oh, wow. Verse 16, this time around, the lame man at the garden, at the temple had worked. He was born lame and he had worked. The Bible says this. So Peter was trying to explain how the lame man worked. So he was trying to explain how, if you understand how the name of Jesus worked, you can cut out the cancer. See what Peter said. Peter said, his name. How did he work? Through what? Through faith in his name. Is there something like faith in J-E-S? No. It's faith in the authority. It's attached to Jesus. So let me explain this to you. I was in year two in the secondary school. If you went to Unity College, you know, Federal Government College, King's College, you know what that means. And in Unity Colleges, they always have all these kind of experiences of bush baby, lady koi koi, you know, something pressing people on the bed. You, you know, you know, did you experience it in boarding school? So we experienced the same thing. I was the pastor of my own set. So when we were here too, um, there was a house, Osho House. It was exactly Osho House. I was in Cross House. You know, the hostels are like a room. There are bunks on this side, bunks on this side. You would just hear noise at midnight. 
Brrr, the whole place will scatter. People will be crying, screaming. The next day in class, they will tell you about this horrible experience. And so I was like, you know, one of my, I had leaders in the fellowship that were there. I said, why don't you, this thing, he says, demonic is this. I said, cast it out. Someone will say, pastor, you, they, no, I'm not pastor. They call me, but actually, it's not that easy. He says, once I want to say Jesus, the thing will press me. I said, chee, 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 chee. I'm going to say Jesus Christ. The other person said, I said Jesus Christ. He didn't walk. I said, he said Jesus. He didn't walk. I was shocked. Okay. So I took my mattress. I went. I, after about a month, I was tired. I said, this is the room. I said, I'm going to put my mattress in the center. So when I sleep there, I was just one year old. But I believed the name of Jesus. So when I stayed there, day one, day two, day three, the thing did not come. I said, can you see, this is, this is your imagination. Day four, it returned. The question is this, why didn't it come when I was there? Because Satan does not respect the pronunciation of the name. It respects the ones that has, knows the authority he has in the name. Then, that was my year two. In year four in the university. We had finished prayer. Saturday fellowship. I remember Saturday fellowship very well. Absolutely. Then all of a sudden, there was this young girl. She was maybe GS something. I don't know what it was. You know, she began to manifest. In those days, <laughs> the spiritual people used to sit at the back because the way we used to pray, if you are not normal, you can't stay with us. Then they say pray in tongues. Then at that time, there was no revelation of praying in tongues. It was praying with groanings. <laughs> you, so, so it's a prayer. You pray like this. You're like, hmm. So, all of us I used to pray like that. We used to sit at the back where they, <laughs> they used to call us something. Spiro, Spiro Jim Jim. They used to call it Spiro Jim Jim. So, we all sat at the back. So, when this girl manifested with close fellowship, ha! Huh? Once the close fellowship, the head of the prayer warriors, because you have to be in the prayer warriors, just said, this girl is demon possessed. Remove the demon. We all just formed the circle. I don't know why we formed the circle. That was what we all called to us. We all just formed the circle. Joined our hands together. I don't know. You know, have you... Have you ever seen people? See, Christians do dumb things. Let me show you one of them. Come, come. Joshua, come, come, come. Dumb things. Let me show you dumb things. Ah, my brother, let's agree together in prayer. What does this mean? Nothing. You agree with your heart, not with your hands. Oh, my God. He said, if two of you shall agree in prayer, you will join hands and what you are praying with your wife about, she doesn't agree. You will not wonder why the prayer is not working. He said, Father, I'm praying for this job in Lagos. He said, Father, we are going to Canada. <laughs> See, a lot of things we do that is useless. Because he said, people come and meet me. Pastor, I want you to agree with me. Must I hold your hands? Bible did not say, if two shall touch each other. He said, if the two shall agree concerning a matter. Not if they shall hold each other's hands. Be biblical. Don't be religious. Praise God. So, we formed a circle. And this girl, her name, her name is Biola. I remember. Her name is Biola. I don't want to mention her name in case she's married now. And I was like, hey, so you were demon possessed. <laughs> so, her name is Biola. So, that's how we're binding the devil. Oh, we got that way. Pa, 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 pa. As so we're praying, the girl just did like this. Pam, crossed her leg. Next, she just said, the, all your prayer have tied it down. You see, you tied it. Someone just, some hefty guy just, as you were trying to struggle, she was so She just, we just untied the leg. As you untied it, she just like this. I've tied it in my hand right now. <laughs> ah, you know, ah. So, so as I were holding it, someone were holding the hand. As he held it, she tied it here again. Then, then she now crossed her toe. She crossed her toe. We <laughs> were just on her body parts. One girl held her hand, held her toe. She just said, I've tied your prayer. She said, I've crossed my eyes. She had tied it in her eyes. So I'm like, hey, no, you can't tie the prayer. Listen, the only reason why you do all that thing is because you are ignorant. Listen to me. We do not wrestle against flesh and blood. Are you listening to me? Can you take someone to a prophet? They say, ah, this evil spirit, this guy is the Ogbanje spirit. We will flog it. How can you flog an evil spirit? He said, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. You go somewhere, they say they must wash your head. What does your head got to do with evil spirits? Both you and the prophet are ignorant. Did Jesus Christ wash head for people? 
spirit as spirit, you don't see them. Once you talk, they obey. So, of course, we didn't know what we we're doing. We we're all casting, 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 casting. That, that casting side at 5 30, 6 30, 7 30, 8 30, 9 30, 10 30, 12 30. The head girl now came and said, This girl has to go to the girl's hostel and we have to lock the girl's hostel. We couldn't cast it out till 12 30 or 5 30. We were, and we're shouting in the name of Jesus. I said, Jesus, I said, we, oh, you know, you know why people don't know how to cast out demons? Once just doesn't work, you promote it. What's the next thing? The blood of Jesus. I, I'm telling you this. He said, I said, in the name of Jesus, it doesn't work. He said, oh, the blood of Jesus. That's all I said, the fire of Jesus. You know, we, we start using for all tools. You, you'll be looking for all. Hey, so I was saying, come on. He said, come on by fire. He said, come on by the blood. Come on by the name. Come. And many of you have been there. The demon did not come out. And as the girl was rounding up, she told us, but she pointed at my friend, who you are, and said, You, your sister, I know her. I'm going to get her. Ah, me was what did she do for you? <laughs> me was what did she do? He said, You think I'm trouble me? Ah, you could see the fear on his face. Ah, ah, what have I done? Good. Praise the Lord. Eventually, we could not cast out the demon. There had to be another minister that came to cast that demon. Question. But we were saying the name of Jesus. Why didn't it work? Because we didn't know what we had. Then I finished. I was there. I failed in casting out demons. With all the prayer warriors. In fact, I remember that night. The girl told her, said, tonight is special in that demonic world. He said, why? He said, all the demons are having international meeting here. I didn't even know why we were so stupid to believe that demons look for where to gather. They didn't see Hassle Rock. They didn't see White House. They didn't see America, Singapore. It was, it was in the bush, Federal Government College, that they chose to gather among students that were nothing. Ha! That's how the head of prayer said, this night you cannot sleep. Because as they're coming, we'll be sending them back. So, and the Gilead told us they meet here, they meet here. So, everywhere they met, we went to pray there. So, we divided ourselves four here, four here. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, that night as I was praying, we want I. It's a, someone said, I, I was praying with the guy, his name is Yinka. Yinka said, We are going to bamboozle. We are going to do this. I said, Yes, bamboozle. Bamboozle. Praise the Lord. Then, I just finished secondary school. That, so, that happened, and that was what happened. I finished secondary school, could not cast a demon. Finished university. Either my final year or I was finishing. I'd gone to preach in this redeemed church, and the pastor told me about this worker in the redeemed church that was a, a very faithful lady. But the problem is that she had three break rooms, and they have the same pattern. Every time someone dates her, the person will have a dream that she turns into a lion and attacks them. And the mother will have the same dream, the sister will have the same dream, attack the family, they all have similar dreams. So, and I said, but what does this girl know about these lions? He said, ah, the girl knows about the lions, though. Because sometimes when she's walking, she sees three lions. Three on the right, three on the left, and she's the seventh one. I said, wow, this should not be a child of God. A child of God cannot, should not be, cannot be possessed. This is an oppression of the enemy. So I told the pastor, bring her to my house. When I say my house, my mother's house. So they brought her. By this time around, at length authority. When they brought the girl, I spoke to her. She was born again. But she didn't know what she had. So she was oppressed of the devil. Pretty, pretty redeemed sister. She had won that beret. You know, she had done the big skirt. Because all those things, don't be, Tita cannot enter you. It doesn't matter. If you like white beret, it doesn't matter. If you want to be flogged by yourself, you'll be flogged. It, it doesn't matter. Either lipstick or no lipstick, it doesn't matter. It doesn't affect demonic spirit. Amen? Trust or no trust, it doesn't affect demonic spirit. Praise the Lord. So, she just came and as I interviewed her, I, I could tell that there would be a manifestation. I could just tell by the spirit. So I, I stood, I told her to stand somewhere here. I told her pastor to stand behind her. You know, and I was somewhere there. I looked at the evil spirit. I looked at her and I could sense that evil thing. I said, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, your evil spirit, come out of her now. When I said that, I will kid you not. Within the thinking of an eye, this gentle redeemed star with all her blouse and everything, everything, she just went, Whoa! like a lion, and charged towards me. I want you to chat towards me. This is just in my city room, so it's not a big city room. 
The thought was wrong. But that was a very fat thought. The other thought was that, break it again! Which is what most Christians would do. But I knew the authority I had in the name of Jesus. So as he was charging to me, because you know who you are and what you have, faith rose up strong in me. She was charging very strong. You know, I was young, so I was smaller. I just pointed at her. I said, thou evil spirit, when I say out, you are out! I said, I will not repeat it a second time. As I said so, she was just that two steps away from me. She just went, ooh, and fell down. And she was delivered. One year after, she got married. Glory to God. The question is that, but I used the name before in year four. But I use the name now. What's the difference? Because the name works. But do you know how to use it? Do you know the authority behind the name of Jesus? Do you know the authority? What does the name mean to you? So you see many Christians, hey, 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 you know, Jesus, you just call it, you don't even know what you're saying. Praise God. I said, praise God. I said, praise God. So we understand something. What is the name of Jesus? The name of Jesus is not talking about J-E-S-U-S. The name of Jesus talks about the authority of Jesus. That's what I want you to know. And listen, eh? you don't assume authority. Authority comes by knowledge. The reason why most people cannot function in the name of Jesus is that they do not know better. They've had someone pray in the name of Jesus. They've had a pastor to say the name of Jesus. But what does it mean to you? You don't know. So you keep copying what someone else does. When you're a policeman, a policeman is taught his authority. So, if you want to know the name of Jesus Christ, he's not something you hear someone say. You learn about the authority of Jesus. So, the name of Jesus is not about J-E-S-U-S. It's about the authority of Jesus. Oh, glory to God. I said glory to God. Someone said glory to God. Oh, uh, let me show you the first thing. J John chapter 14. <laughs> so, no wonder he says, in my name, cast out devils. Let me tell you what Pentecostals think. Who is going to come again? You know, Joshua, come, come. This is what Pentecostals think. When he says, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, this is what we think. This is what we think. And you sit in our prayer. We come to Jesus Christ and talk to him. Just cannot take the prayer and go and meet the Father. And say, Father, please, answer his prayer. He, he cannot come to you. Answer. That's not what it means to pray in the name of Jesus. Pray in the name of Jesus. This is what it means. <laughs> Your ATM card is here. Come. This is what it means. Hey, my shatter. This is what it means to pray in the name of Jesus. I want to ask you. This guy has money in his ATM card. The moment he gives me ATM card, when I get to the ATM, once I have pin and card, the ATM have come in his name. The ATM will give me money as though he used it. He doesn't ask me that, who are you? Is it your account? All he asks is that put in your password. Once you put in your password, the money will flow. We are not praying through Jesus. The authority that Jesus Christ has, this ATM, he has given to us. So when we come to him, we come in, we go to the Father in the authority of Jesus. That's when you pray, say, Father, pity me now. You see, because you think you're coming in your own name. You think you're coming by yourself. You think God is looking at all your weaknesses. Uh-uh. He says, no. He said, we're coming in the name of, in the authority of Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you. That's why some people say, if you cannot pray to Jesus Christ, you pray to Gabriel. Because in their mind, it's someone that, it's someone is carrying your prayer to God. But that's not what it means to pray in the name of Jesus. See, praying through Jesus and praying in the name of Jesus are two different things. We are not asked to pray through Jesus. We are asked to pray in the name, in the authority of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Stop praying through the name. That's not what he said. He said pray in my name, in my authority. Praise God. I said, praise God. When you rent a house from a landlord and they give you the keys, what do you have? You have the authority to stay in the house. Yes or no? 
Do you, if you want to, if, you, if a visitor comes, will they go to the landlord? No, you are not the one that opens and closes at will. Because now you have authority. Hey, 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 hey. Now you have authority. You can open and close by yourself. Someone says, what do you mean? That's why in the Old Testament, watch this now. The best they could say about the devil was this. Satan, the Lord what? Rebuked thee. You know why? They didn't have authority to rebuke Satan. So they had to talk to God to deal with Satan. But in the New Testament, Jesus Christ said, all power in heaven and on earth I've given unto you. What does that mean? In the New Testament, you cannot be praying, Satan, the Lord rebuked thee. No. What is it? He said, resist the devil. He said, kick him. It will flee from you. Why you not say, Father, please, let me talk to Satan. He said, God, look, look at my child. You don't say that. You say, I command the asthma to go. Resist the devil. You resist it. They gather against you at work. I love the way, I love the way I heard it from minister. They gather against you at work. You will just go at work. Zagono, Paga, Saga, Bagada. What does that mean? Everything they do, scatter. You don't say, Father, please. No. He said, associate yourself together. You shall be broken in pieces. He said, bind yourself together. You shall be scattered in pieces. He said, no weapon fashion against you shall prosper. Every tongue that rises against you shall be condemned in judgment. He said, this is the heritage of the sons of God. Ah! 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 You know what He said, Pastor, I'm afraid they've gathered against me. And so what? And so what? Micah chapter 4 verse 5. Let's look at this. Micah chapter 4 verse 5. You don't know, the, do you know the authority of the name of Jesus? Micah chapter 4 verse 5. I want us to go quickly, go quickly. Micah chapter 4 verse 5. See what the Bible says. Are you ready? Can we all read together? All of you are like, can you read me also? Let's just get, I want to go. For all the people will work. Everyone in the name of what? And we will walk in the name of the Lord. <laughs> oh, my shatter. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. If you are in the east, when the Amadiora priest is coming, they will say Amadiora is coming. The priest of Amadiora is coming. He's coming in the name of the Lord, of his own God, Amadiora. Your God is not Amadiora. Your God is not small shongo. You serve the living God. When you get to the office, when you're going for the job, when you're going in theater, say it. I go in the name of Jesus. I come in the name of Jesus. I come in the name of Jesus. You know, when I was young, my mother would tell us, when you go to the village, don't drink or eat. Not me. Not me. It doesn't work for me. My mother said, they can do something to you. He said, are you not afraid of death? I said, not me. Why? All power in heaven and on earth has been... Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. When I'm going to the village, I don't go alone. I will declare. As I go right now, I go in the name of Jesus. What does that mean? Any opposition, chaos. Praise God. You go for an interview in the name of Jesus. My God. Who? Wow. The power, so where is the power of the name of Jesus? The power of the name of Jesus is understanding his authority. I'll give you an example. Do you know once you don't know, you can't take authority? That's the truth. Because authority is based on knowledge. So the reason why people cannot use the name of Jesus effectively is because they don't know. They keep doing what others do, but they've not, they don't know because they've not studied for themselves. And they wonder why it is not working. But that is why it is not working. Wow. How does the name work? It says, through faith in his name. All right. Why is the name so powerful? And when I say the name, why is there authority in his name? The name of Jesus was gotten in three ways. I just wanted to give it to him. No. The name of Jesus was gotten what? In three ways. So that when you understand how the name was gotten, you can understand the authority that comes with it. Somebody say hallelujah. 
Hebrews chapter 1 verse 4. Let's go. The name of Jesus was gotten in what? In three ways. Oh, praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Pastor Jerry, where's your wife? Two of you come. Watch this. I want to show you something. The name was just because what in three ways. Pastor Jerry is a very, very rich man. Very rich man. And this is his lovely wife. What is your name, sir? Jerry. Jerry, what? Aji. What is your name, ma? Are you Aji? How did you get the name? By the time you married. You inherited the name. Your children, how did they get the name? By birth. They inherited the name from their father. So, all that he has belongs to you. All that two of you have belongs to your children. Because with the name comes an inheritance. Hold on. Relax. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 4. How did Jesus Christ get the name? Read. The Bible says, it was about, I showed you this before last week. He said, Jesus, being made much more better than angels, has had by inheritance obtained what? Question if he received it as an inheritance. Whose name was that? That was the name of the Father. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. See, the name of Jesus is the name of the Father. That's why Pentecostal, I don't know what happens to us. You will hear someone baptized and say, in the names of the Father, it's going to shut up. That's not what it says. It says, in the name of the Father, it's one name for the Father. It's one name for the Son. It's one, it says, in the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit. As a matter of fact, when you read out of the apostles, they didn't even say that. They just said, they just baptized them in the name of Jesus. Why? Because the name of Jesus is the name of the Father. So why is it powerful? When you say the name of Jesus, everything the Father controls. Everything the Father is in that name. So the reason why we can command funding to come is because Psalm 24 says the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. If God made funding, he made silver, he made gold, we say in the name of Jesus, we command the funding to come. It has to respond. So I said, well, I've been commanding since, but you didn't know. You didn't know. You were just commanding. Commanding based on what? Nothing. A policeman has done his authority will be abused. Do you hear what I said? A policeman that does not know his authority will be what? He will be abused. Thank you. Just imagine a wife that doesn't know his authority is a billionaire. He will not, she will not enjoy. Just imagine a wife that does not know the husband is a billionaire. He will not enjoy. Why you don't know what you have by inheritance? Why is the name powerful? Because it's the name of God. Someone says, ah, what about Jehovah Shammah? What about Jehovah Nisi? Those names were describing an activity. Jehovah, Jehovah El Shaddai is the God that what? That is. I, I want to really give you the Hebrew, but I can say the common one that all of you know. He it says, it's, a soft, it's more than enough. That's El, Shad, El Shaddai. More than enough. But it describes something. Jehovah Jireh, the Lord provides. It describes something. Jesus is the name. Why is the name powerful? This the name is because it was that name that made heaven and earth. Glory to God. So the reason I, I can <laughs> my gosh, I love her. Someone says, How can we talk to trees? Talk to things? Because the name made them. If the name made them, the name can regulate them. Did you hear what Peter did in an act of the free? The man was born lame. He didn't have bones in his legs. Peter said in the name of Jesus Christ. Meaning that the name that made you. Let it fix you right now. That's why we can cut out cancer with the name. We command the cancer. Come out. We command the tumor. Come out. We command the asthma. Go. We command the contract. Come. Because the name made it. It can regulate it. Are you here? Lift up your hands, pray in tongues one minute. Ah, patana man, pray in tongues one minute. Aramana kosha patana pari. Semendo kebreke tongue jelly brekede. 
all of you online pray in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Why is the name powerful? Because it's the name, the name has inheritance attached to it. Listen to me. If I just tell you that my name is Bola Jinangote, you respect me. Because that will take me something. More than rice and pasta. He means kulele. Is that not true? You say, which, what you want to know is which Dangote? Is it the same Dangote? If I just say my name is, my, my name is John Trump. Trump? Trump? Trump, Trump? Because the name has power behind it. It doesn't matter if I'm a small boy. Listen, a small Trump is a Trump. Oh. Radada. <laughs> ah! Because it's not just a name. There is an, it is an office. It's an authority. It doesn't matter if I inherited it. It's my name. Why is the name powerful? Ephesians chapter 1. Verse 17. Maybe let's read from verse 16. Let's read from verse 18. Because I'm looking for where to read from. Oh, wow. Let's read from verse 16. It's a good place to start from. Oh, wow. See what Paul said here. Ephesians 1 verse 16. You have to catch this. When you know this, you'll be full of thanksgiving. That you're a Christian. He says, I cease not to give thanks. He says, when you know what I'm about to say, all you'll be saying is thanksgiving. All you'll be saying is thanksgiving. Your prayer will reduce. He says, and to mention for you in my prayers. Why? What was the prayer? Look at verse 17. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you what? The spirit of wisdom and revelation in the Lord. What it was praying that Lord help them see. Why? Once you can't see, you can't use. Once you can't see, you can't use. He said, Lord, help them see. And that's my prayer this morning. That you can see. <laughs> when our church was smaller in Bagada, one lady came to me and said, our house help is demon possessed. He said, Pastor, come and help us beg her for her to go. We told her to go. She said, she's not going. She wants to stay. He said, we paid her salary in advance. She's not going. I said, bring her to live with me. Kabalabaya. Let me house the demon possessed girl. When power, jump power, lesser power go bow. All those days when I was younger, there was something, you know, that's when OPC started. Um, I lived, I lived a lot of my part in the solo, and that was the headquarters. She, um, Dr. Fasha, and yeah, you know who I'm talking about. So you will see those people, because of thieves, they will put wire somewhere and say, they will put red rope and cowries in the OPC. It never used to stop me. Once I see what red color, I just remove it. Am I your mate? Someone said they put sacrifice on the junction. He says, for God, who am I? Am I your mate? You need to know who you are. How nice someone does like this? I will show you. Say, Pastor, they did like this to me. They did like this to me. You don't know who you are as a Christian. Say whatever. So Paul was saying, I pray they see this. Why? Keep going. Verse 18. Verse 18 now. He says, That the eyes of your heart may be enlightened. See the prayer. That you may know. The hope. This was a post prayer. He says that you may know. Know is not just in the head. That you may know on the inside. The hope is of his calling. And what? And the riches of the glory of his inheritance. Where? Inside. What is he talking about? What is this inheritance? Let's keep going. Next verse. He says, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. And the the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe according to the working of his mighty power. See how many words of power was used in one verse. Continue. 
Continue. Sir, continue at the back. Are you there? He says, far above all principalities. He said, this power is far above all principalities. And what? And power. And might. And dominion. These things are spiritual hierarchies. Same way you have banking officer, senior officer, AGM, GM. These are hierarchies of spirit. These are spirits are created. Oh, yeah, 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 man, yeah. Hey, man, can, can I just shout? Can, can I just shout? See the hierarchy of demon principalities. Some are called powers. Some are called might. Some are called dominion. Did you notice it didn't say witchcraft? They were too small in the hierarchy to be recognized. Did you notice it didn't say witch doctor? They were too small in the hierarchy to be recognized. Why are you worrying yourself over witchcraft and witch doctor? We're talking about, we, we, see, we, those are what I call, when you watch Chinese, they call them Sufayo. You know Sufayo? They added to the movie to be sweet. You know, when there's a Chinese movie, there'll be two or four people that are the main actors. Then there'll be these 1,000 people that are just fighting for nothing. That one kick kiss about 200 at a time. Those ones are called Sufayo. <laughs> Praise God. When the witch doctor says, I will show you, you say that you are not spiritually recognized. <laughs> In the level, you are not, you don't have that number. <laughs> you are not spiritually recognized. See what it says. Watch this. This is why the name is powerful. Far above all principalities, all powers, might and dominion, Sydney, and every name. This is why you will know it's not a name he's talking about. That is named. He's talking about that name that is authority. It says is above every authority that is named. Then he asked the big one. He said, not only in this world. That means if the authority is here, it's undercover. He said, but also in the world that should come. Are you listening to this? The reason why the name of Jesus is powerful is this. It's superior to every other authority. Let me tell you something. A politician had their way. They will kick out the gospel. Why can't they? The power of the name of Jesus Christ. If they had their way, this most country would be a Muslim country by now. Why can't they penetrate my core Because as we pray, we scatter it. It says a name. So why is it not just powerful? The name has watch this. The name has authority over every name in the spirit world and what in the natural world. So when you say cancer come out, cancer is needed, it has to bow. When you say approval comfort, approval has to come, he has to bow. Because he's a senior. Hey, my God, my God. You know, I don't know if you went, I don't know if you have seen military officers before. When a general say come, once you are his junior, you come. He's obey before what complain. The name of justice is of a general level. Once the name of justice is used, you come. Is obey first before you complain. No wonder, as soon as the demons saw him, they said, What do you have to do with us? What do you have to do? They were all scared because senior has come. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. There's a story by R.W. Shambach. How the Shua was casting out a demon. Come on. The demon says, I'm not going to come out. You're going to get tired of casting me out today. I don't I know what to do. And I said, Demon, you have to come out. Because 2,000 years ago, you were defeated by the Christ. He said, please, don't talk about my defeat. I'm going. You know why? He just wanted to know if he knew what he was saying. Because Satan knows he's defeated. Not that the one you pray. You say, hey. say Jesus. It doesn't work. Say fire. Then say blood. Because you don't know the one that works. How does the name of Jesus work? By understanding the authority in the name. How do you understand the authority? Authority is not assumed. You read. You study. It's in the term of the contract. How do you know your right as a tenant? You read the terms of contract. How do you know your right as a citizen? You read the term of contract. How do you know your authority? And you have to study. That's why this message will go back again. The more you know your authority, the more you can stand in it. The more you know your authority, the more what? You can stand in it. Someone said they gave me food in my dream. Me. Me. They gave me food in my dream. I will say thank you. Someone said, you say thank you. Pastor, is the bad thing to eat your dream home? 
just for you to know, Satan is very stingy. He doesn't feed people in real life or in dreams. In the Bible, every time people were fed in their dream, angels fed them. There's no way in the Bible that human beings were fed in their dream. Satan is stingy. He said, but in the dream, I saw people with blood on their faces. Was that also, was that also God? Read Psalm 23. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemy. Those people you saw wearing red, they were tied. The table was prepared by God. God wanted to embarrass them and said, despite your arrow, see his promotion. Someone said, but my other pastor said, based on what? Was using the Bible, using the story. I'm using the Bible. Praise God. So I said, but I know someone that ate in the gym and I had problems. The reason why I had problems was this. Because he tempted that food as spiritual poison, it became spiritual poison to him. Because as a man believe, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Praise God. I said, praise God. You know why the name is powerful? Because the second thing is that the name was gotten by conquests. The name was gotten by what? Conquests. Let me tell you what conquest is. Come, sir. Can, can, can I? MP3, come. This is, this is what they are fighting. After fighting, they establish that this, this is the stronger person. So, let me call somebody else. That is, uh, what's that? Yeah, come. Yeah. So, they've established that this is the winner. This is Jesus Christ. He's the winner. So, this is you. This person now wants to beat you. Oh, yeah. As he wants to beat you, we know he can beat you, for sure. In the natural. You now come and say, two of us come together. Let's go. This person will respect himself and go away. When I say in the name of Jesus, I'm saying, Satan, remember the person that beat you. Remember. I, I, sorry, I, I know a lot of you are older now, but like, maybe the best illustration from my secondary school. When they want to send you on error, just say the head boy said. Head girl said. That's all. All senior must bow. Because their name is higher than the name of other prefects, other seniors. Head boy said. That's it. That's why the name of just as powerful. The name is senior. Not senior because he's senior. Because he can deal with them. Not because he has dealt with them before. You remind the devil. He said, devil, you know what he did to you 2,000 years ago? He finished you. How did he finish you? The Bible says, have a sport. Can I speak from vernacular? Obama or Jenny? Ah! Have a sport. The Bible says he sports them. You, he, he didn't just not eat, embarrass them. Have a sport, brings spices and powers. Praise God. I said, praise God. The question is that, what will you do with the name today? Because the name is the ATM card. It has not been given to you. You have a right of attorney to the name. With that name, you can declare, you can command, you can release, you can tell. So it's which never worked before because you never knew. Even now that you know, you have to go back and listen because faith coming by what hearing. Remember that in my year two, the demon whipped us out. But by the time I learned some things, till now, there's, let me tell you something. Since that time, I left university till now. There's never been a demon that I've not been able to cast out. Never. In any country or language, even if those speak English, the demon understands me. Because authorities, authorities, authority. They've never been. If someone cannot be cast out, bring them to me. I'm open challenge, bring them. We would spoil. Why? Because we come in the name of Jesus. Are you going for a contract this week? Go in the name of Jesus. See. Someone says, when you want to fly, just say, I fly in the name of Jesus. <laughs> hey, yeah, 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 yeah. You want to go and meet some people, I go in the name of Jesus. The name has been named upon us. No wonder he said, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are saved. He said, come in the name of your God. Are you hearing me? Stand up, let us pray. Oh, glory to